Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm going to go over what I'm going to be purchasing for the upcoming Sephora sale, and then also give you guys some recommendations for products that I've had for a long amount of time, that I've used a lot, that I would recommend that you pick up during the sale. So this video isn't going to go up until Monday, October 29th, so that means that the first weekend of the Rouge event is going to be over. Rouge gets two weekends, whereas all the regular beauty insiders get that second weekend, so I'm just going to have this up in time for the second weekend of the sale. I am also holding myself to only getting something during that second weekend because they do make it tempting having 20% off for two weekends, but if you just think about what you want ahead of time and really put in, you know, the thought and narrow down exactly what you want to get, it's a lot easier to help you help your wallet to just pick up the couple of things that you've really wanted. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like these kinds of recommendation videos. And if you haven't and you'd like to, hope you would consider subscribing and hitting that little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. Okay, so like I said, I'm only going to be purchasing items during the second weekend, which is November 2nd, the Friday, through Monday, November 5th. So I'm probably going to be placing my order right on that Friday, and I'm only going to pick up three things. I've narrowed down my list, and there are three things that I've really been wanting, really been wanting to try, and that's all I'm going to get. I'm being good. <laughs> Especially because that's a pay week. So payday comes in on Thursday, sale starts on Friday, so whew. Okay, so I'm going to throw pictures up to the side so you guys can look along with me, but I've already added all the items just to my Sephora basket so that they're there. And the first item that I really want to try <laughs> is the Tatcha primer that everyone's been talking about. I did try this like on my hand at a store a while ago and it felt so luxurious and beautiful and I've literally heard people talk nonstop about how amazing this primer is. So if I were to pick it up, it would have to be during a sale because this primer is $52. <laughs> would I pay $52 for it? No. Would I buy it 20% off? Yeah, I would buy it to try it out. So I will be picking up that primer during the sale. The next item that I'm going to be getting is an eyeshadow palette because of course, but it's from a brand that I have not tried yet that I've been waiting to try for a long time. This is Pat McGrath. I'm finally going to be picking up a Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette because one, it's not a crazy price point, and two, it's finally something that caught my eye. I've seen all these crazy, like, priced Pat McGrath palettes, and so far none of them have really drawn me in and made me think, oh, I need this palette. Until this one. Until this one. This is the Mothership Sublime Bronze Temptation Eyeshadow Palette. I'm not gonna lie, what drew me in was that green. If I was to try Pat McGrath, it would have to be a palette that has a green in it. Yeah, so this palette, it is one of like her mini palettes. It's got six shades in here and it's $55. So it's not as crazy as some of the other palettes in this line. Uh, would I pay $55 for it? I don't know, maybe. But was I going to hold off and get it during the sale because I could get 20% off? Yes. <laughs> yes. So I will be picking this up. If you guys want to see my like first time using a Pat McGrath palette, I can definitely film that because I'm actually a bit sad that I didn't film the first time I used a Natasha Denona palette. So I would like to film it. Maybe not do a full video on its own, but include it in like the big review video that I will be doing for this palette. But I do want to test it out thoroughly before I do that video. So just let me know what you want to see down below. And the last product that I'm going to be picking up during the sale is a product from Diva Curl for the hair. This is the Diva Curl Build Up Buster Micellar Water Cleansing Serum. Now, for those of you that don't know, I've been curly girl or on the curly girl method for almost six months now. It'll be six months in the middle of November. Before that, I spent a decade blow drying, straightening my hair. And in May, I decided to finally, you know what? Try to just stick to your natural curly hair. Learn how to work with your curly hair. I did so much research. I tried all these products. And so far, I found a routine that I really like so far. The only part of the curly girl life that I haven't figured out yet is how to deal with dry scalp and product buildup. I 
I cannot stand like the little flakies that I get in my hair from product buildup after a couple of days. I hate how dry my scalp has been since I've gone curly girl. That's been my biggest, biggest complaint. I honestly love everything else about it. I just cannot stand the dry scalp. So I've been trying to find methods of dealing with that. And I'm thinking maybe I'm just not using a good clarifying shampoo often enough to get rid of the buildup. So the next step that I'm going to take is to actually try this buildup buster micellar water cleansing shampoo. You're only supposed to use it like once or twice a month. You know, This isn't like an everyday shampoo. Not that you would wash your hair every day, but this isn't like your every shampoo shampoo. This is more of just like an occasional shampoo that you would use just to really get rid of the buildup. And it's a bit expensive. Um, it's $28 and it's only 8 ounces, so there's not a lot of product. I have a lot of hair. I go through shampoo, conditioner, like mad. So I know this probably isn't going to last me too long. But I'm hoping that between the fact that I really only have to use it a couple of times a month and that it's supposed to clarify enough to break the buildup up, I'm hoping that that makes up for the price point. But 28 bucks for, you know, a little 8 ounces of shampoo is a bit much. So I am going to pick it up during the sale to get that 20% off and just see how I like it. Okay, so those are the three things that I am limiting myself to getting during the Sephora sale. I'll be placing my order online on Friday. Now, to some products that I would highly, highly recommend you pick up. These are all products that I've used months and months and months. I got them at Sephora and I would highly recommend you pick them up. I, I would say these are all worth it at their regular price points, but I'd say if there's a sale, jump on it. So. The first product is a mascara that I've fallen in love with. I have, oof, I don't know what it is with me, this mascara. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I love this. The only thing is that sometimes the brush can get a little gunky, so I do have to like clean it up on here. But the formula is absolutely gorgeous. It lasts all day. It gives me, it gives me a great length with all of my lashes. It also just separates them all really well. This is one of my favorite mascaras of all time, and I've tried a lot of mascaras out. And that being said, it's Urban Decay. It's not cheap. Um, I'm thinking, I was thinking of picking up another one during the sale, but I have a drawer of mascara that I have to get through, so I'm holding myself back. But that being said, this is an amazing mascara, and if you're interested, if you had it on your list, if you had your eye on it, I would recommend picking it up during the sale. The next product that I would highly recommend is a highlighter duo from Fenty Beauty. If you might, ugh. if you saw my last full project pan project, the finished five by fall, you will have seen that I did pan an entire side of this highlighter. This is the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighting Duo in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal, and I have entirely used up the side Lightning Dust, and I've hit pan on Fire Crystal. This highlighter is your perfect everyday go-to highlighter. The side that I panned is much more subtle and it looks like a glow from within, whereas this side looks blinding, blinding. What I used to love to do was wear uh, lightning dust like all over where it would highlight, like on my cheek, a little bit by the eye, a little bit up on the forehead, and then I would put lightning dust like right here at the tops of my cheeks just to give it a little bit of a pop. This is a great highlighting formula. I love it. They're a bit expensive for highlighters. It's Fenty. It is a little bit more of a higher end brand. But after having panned a whole highlighter, I can say that this is worth it. I'm seriously thinking of rebuying this highlighter, but I want to make myself finish up Fire Crystal first. But great highlighter. The next product is a face palette that I fell in love with this past summer and I haven't brought up recently because I've been testing out some other face palettes, but I still really enjoy this face palette. And this is from Too Faced. This is the Natural Face Face Palette. It is these shades right here. You get two bronzers, two blushes, and two highlighters. Most everything in here is a bit shimmery except for the darker blush is matte and then the Sunny Honey bronzer just has like, it's more of a satin and not exactly more of like a glowy finish. This is a huge palette. You get a lot of product in here. I love these shades. I do think this is more of a summer palette. Um, the bronzers both work on me. I just feel like these shades are more suited to summer than they are for winter, which is 
I do have a video coming out by the end of the week, which would be on my favorite face palettes recently, the new Hourglass ones. That is coming out just in time for the sale, too. So it'll be out before the sale begins that second weekend. But this is a great face palette, and I do bring it out every now and then, but overall, I do think this is more appropriate for summer, but still an amazing face palette. It's got a huge mirror right here. It's great for travel. I just, this is an amazing face palette. The next palette that I want to talk about is a bronzing and contouring palette. It is my go-to contour shade that I wear almost every day. This is the Smashbox Contour Trio. They have two shades of this. They have like a light palette and they have a deep palette. I have the light palette and I've almost hit pan on the contour shade right here. I still like the bronzer shade. It's a nice bronzer shade. I just don't reach for it as often as I do the contour shade. And then the highlighting shade over here, honestly, don't reach for that as often. I do prefer to use just my regular face powder to set and to highlight, but this contour shade alone is worth it. I love this contour shade. It's perfect. It's just the right shade. It blends out beautifully. And my only complaint is that they don't sell this as a single because this contour palette is a bit expensive. It's like $34. I bought this back when this was actually on the weekly WOW on Sephora, so it was $17. I think this is definitely worth $17 for that amazing contour shade. Is it worth $32 or $34 or whatever it is normally? I don't know, because I really only use the one shade all the time. So I don't think the $34 is worth it for the one shade, but I would highly recommend you try this out if you haven't already during the sale so you can get that discount on that price. And I wish they had this in a single. I want this shade in a single. I would buy a full palette of just this. Like, I mean, if I had like unlimited money, I would buy two more of these and just make one palette out of that just one contour shade because <laughs> I love it so much. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is great palette, a bit overpriced, pick it up during the sale. And the last palette that I'm going to talk about, I only wanted to bring up one eyeshadow palette, one that I've been reaching for a lot, one that I really think is appropriate for the fall, and one that I think has, I mean, was hyped when it first came out, but I feel like not too many people are still going back to it, and that is going to be the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I keep coming back to this palette over and over and over. I have a huge eyeshadow palette collection and I reach for this one more than any other palette continuously, like since I've gotten it. You have an amazing array of shades here. I did a video like a 4x4 four four for Too Faced where I talk a little bit more about this palette. I'll throw that up in the cards if you do want to check it out. Out of all of my palettes, I would recommend you pick this up during the sale if you have been interested in Too Faced shadows or if you're interested in this color scheme. Because it really is a palette that'll last you a long time and is very, very versatile. Okay, and I think that is everything that I would recommend you pick up. All those products that I recommend I have used for months. They have my full seal of approval on them, and I would not hesitate to recommend you try them out, especially when you can get a discount on them. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below what you want to pick up during this sale, and if you're going to go in store or if you're going to buy online. Thank you again for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye.